Two days ago, I took out on, or I set out on an adventure that I wasn't going to document at all on any video. I really didn't want to talk about it because it was for religious purposes only. I've had a very, very, very strange couple of years here. And my head is just like reeling around and thinking like, what the hell do I even do next? It's it just, it, I don't even want to talk about what I've all been going through. I do want to talk about kind of what I went through on this dry fest that I did, as you saw per the title. I had a lot of weight loss type things go on during this, which it wasn't for, that I wanted to talk about in this video because this this channel kind of bases itself around health and and all that. So I wanted to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about why I did it other than the fact that I'm just trying to get a little bit more clarity as to how to proceed in life because, wow, this last, I, honestly, this last 25 years has been like a what the has life been, especially this last two to three, four years. Whew, wow. So I did it, right? And I weighed 268.8 pounds. Now, I was bored out of my mind. I was, I really was bored because you kind of do entertain yourself a little bit with eating, even though I don't even really like eating. And most of the time, I don't even hit anywhere near the amount of calories probably that I'm supposed to just because I'm not the biggest fan of eating. So doing this dry fast really wasn't that difficult for me, honestly, other than the few times a day that I do eat, like what do I fill my time with? So I weighed myself a couple times just to kind of monitor what was actually going on. At no point did I have kidney pain. At no point did I actually have any pain at all. And ironically, after I broke the dry fast and I drank some water, my throat wasn't even closed up. So I was plenty hydrated even still after, uh, it was more than 48 hours. It was, it was closer to 60 hours because of the, how it felt. And I wasn't even dehydrated. It, it was crazy. And this is kind of confusing to me. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about now a while ago, I think in June, in June, I did a video about German New Medicine. Now, I don't really agree with everything he says. I'm not going to get into that. Some people were attacking me in the comment section. Imagine that about how this guy is a terrible person, blah, 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 whatever. He's dead. I, you know, I, you know, talk to him when, you know, I don't, I don't know what to tell you about that. But in this video talked about people who have had trauma, traumatic stuff go on, their kidneys don't work properly or something like that, and they retain a lot more water. And one of the things that I have been noticing over the last, a long time now, but especially this past four or five months, I have been retaining water like I've never retained water before, and it's been driving me nuts. So on, at the start of day one, I weighed 268.8. And I, I can't figure out, like, every time I get down to the 250s or sometimes even the 240s, I will start retaining water after that really bad and get back into the 260s. And I know it's water because of the fact that the second day after I weighed myself, at the end of the day, I weighed 255.3 pounds. So that's like over 13 pounds that I lost in two days of pure water. And I'm sure there's other stuff that I lost. And it's, it's driving me a little crazy because this happens to me all the time. All the time. I retain water really, really, really bad. And before you, I, I cannot believe people who are on the keto and carnivore still watch my channel. Or just can't, are too like absent-minded is the nicest word I'm going to say to go watch my videos when I talked about I used to eat meat all the time. But when I ate meat, I retained water even worse than I do on vegan. And then, like, I, it was a day before my birthday, so it was uh, like two or three weeks ago, my dad had kidney stones. And I'm thinking, maybe this is just hereditary, maybe we just have some weird kidney things go on. And they tested the stones that he had passed and they were all nitrogen. So which means he can't handle protein either. It's got like, I don't, I, there's no real solution to this video. There's no real resolution to this video. This video is just what I have gone through, what I have noticed. 
I lost 13 pounds of pretty much pure water in two days when I wasn't drinking water. But when I eat normal, I retain water like crazy. And I think a lot of us do this, especially those of us maybe who had like a traumatic thing go on or had like a really weird childhood or just have a really weird life or, or whatever it is. Our body's natural thing to do is to retain water according to this German New Science, which I'm not promoting. I don't know if it's real. I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not making any claims here. I'm just telling you what I noticed. Had I known that I was going to be making a video about this, I really didn't want to, but I thought it was kind of relevant. I would have documented this. Every, like, like from under my chest down to my, tor for the rest of my torso retains water so bad. And I was talking to somebody about this in like April or May. And her and I were like talking about water retention. And you can tell it's not fat and it's water because when you retain a lot of water, it's very uncomfortable. Whereas fat, you kind of don't notice. Unless you're like my 600 pound life. Fat you don't notice as much. It kind of just seems like a part of the body, but the water weight is like tight. It's really, it gets irritated really easily. And I lost 13, almost 14 pounds of this on a dry fast that was not for weight loss at all. It was unintentional weight loss. It was more, it was not more. It was 100% for spiritual reasons. And I still can't figure this out why this keeps happening, no matter what calorie range that I'm in, you know, I've, I want, when I do track it, I'm anywhere from, I don't know, some days it's like 2000 calories. Some days it's like 4,500 4, calories, but I do have some days that I do a lot of stuff. Like I'll be working for like 14 hours or like I had, I had so much stuff. I had so many things that I had to move out of this house. On those days, it would be like 10 hours of getting stuff out of this house because I used to run an eBay and I decided I just didn't want to do that anymore. So I had shelves and I had all this inventory. And so for days and days and days and days, I was moving stuff out of this house. I, I think there's still probably stuff that I got to get out of here. And so those days, I mean, I, that was a lot of heavy lifting because it's all upstairs or downstairs or both. And I, so I was eating like 4,000 calories on those days, but I can't even tell you how many hundreds of pounds that I was, was moving out of this house those days. And still, even and I was sweating like crazy because when, when that was going on, it was like 95 degrees outside and it's always humid here because I live right on the lake. So it was like 95 degrees in the 90% humidity range. I was sweating like crazy and still retaining water. And I know a lot of other people who don't do that. Even when I was doing this dry fest, I was still sweating like crazy because I was down at the air show. It was stupid humid down at the air show. And nobody else is like, I, I'm like standing around people who are wearing hoodies who aren't even sweating. And I'm like, what is, what the hell happens? So I don't know between my dad having kidney stones me losing 13 pounds in one day and, and this German new medicine and all the other things that I've gone through and it's just, I, there's no resolution to this. I don't have an, a, there's like, if, if you're watching this to get an answer out of this, I don't have one. I wish I did, but like retaining water is just like my body's go-to and I'm going to reference it again in the Minnesota starvation experiment and a couple of the other ones that I read up on, one of the common things was these people would retain water when their body felt that it was lost too much weight or, or they were losing too much weight. And there was two guys in that who, I don't know how you would cheat, but one of them got accused of cheating on the diet, didn't lose much weight at all, at all. So I got all this swirling around in my head. I'm really tired of even thinking about weight loss, honestly. I kind of would just like to move on with my life and actually just be healthy and not have the most ridiculous things happen in, uh, in life. Maybe that's just not my lot. I, I really wish I had an answer to why this is happening and I'm sure the keto carnivore people are gonna come in here with their ridiculous comments because that's what they do. But it was kind of eye-opening, and it's the only reason I'm making this video. Like, what is causing this? Why 
does eating food cause me to retain so much water? That was almost 14 pounds. It's like seven pounds a day. And when somebody came on after I made that German new medicine and they're like, well, if it's over 10 pounds, like, like everybody's, everybody's a doctor and a scientist now. But I lost almost 14 pounds or like 13 and a half pounds in two days. Because I, I took my weight at the beginning of the first day and I took my weight at the end of the second day. Almost at the end of the second day. And it was, it was 13.5 or something like that pounds in two days. That's not fat. That's not, might have been a little muscle. But that is not normal. <laughs> like that is not normal. I remember because I worked at this one company where we made uh, large heating units uh, for liquid, uh, you know, chemical pools. And then we had, we obviously had a shipping department and I had to walk through the shipping department to get to my department every day. And I would, I, I mean, I would, my weight sometimes would fluctuate by 20 to 25 pounds. And the guy that I work with is like, how do you do that? Because I would leave, I would leave work sometimes. I would be 255 pounds and I, I, I just, I, I kind of ate the same thing every day. Sometimes I would be like 255 pounds or like 245 pounds or something like that. And then I would leave and I would come back and the next day I would be in the 220s. And he's like, how did you do that? Because he and I both work like a mid shift. We work 10, 10 to 7.30 or something like that. And so we work together and I'm like, I don't know. He couldn't do it. Nobody else I worked with could do this. Nobody else could replicate it. And I was eating like the rest of them at this time. I was just eating whatever at the rest of the, you know, I was eating, uh, you know, the omnivore diet at this time, I was eating everything that they were eating. And yet nobody had these huge weight fluctuations like I did. Now I was lifting at the time. I was taking, uh, NO2, which is, um, nitric, uh, nitric oxide at the time and maybe creatine maybe, but a lot of times I didn't take creatine cause that made my water retention like so bad that I couldn't almost even function. I don't know. If you go through this, if, if your weight fluctuates like mine does, especially like under the chest and stuff like that, it drives me nuts. Like some days I'll wake up and I can see my entire chest and other days it's just full of water. And I'm like, what is causing this? What is causing? So I don't know. Maybe, maybe my kidneys were always messed up and it just kind of peaked its ugly head uh, when I was eating nothing but meat and like I was eating nothing but meat and like the occasional broccoli or cauliflower or something like that. There, I mean, there literally got to a point where I was straight carnivore before carnivore even was talked about because I liked eating meat so much. So I don't know. I don't know. But I figured I would make this video. I really didn't want to because I don't really like talking about um, when I do things uh, spiritually. I don't think it's a good idea. But that really, really just, I was like, wow. Because it's been like this my whole life. Like when I first started keto, I did all right with it for like a year and a half, two years. But all of the side effects that you hear about for keto started hitting in like a year and a half in. And that's when I started going to see doctors and all of my hormone numbers were crap. All of my, they were terrible. They were so off. <clears throat> they were so off that they were accusing me of being on steroids. I have, I think I still have some of the notes. Because it said, patient is abnormally muscled but has an abnormally large amount of water and fat retention. We think that he's lying about doing testosterone shots. And I said, if I could get testosterone shots or if I was doing that, why would I come to you to get testosterone shots? <laughs> like, eventually they kind of figured out that I wasn't actually doing this because nobody could figure out how to get my weight to come down. Even though I was in clinical things being studied, they actually made the food for me. So anyway, uh, food, for, for, food for thought, literally. Like I said, there's no real answers that I have for this. It's just an observation that I have for this. This is something I've gone through my whole life. And now 
that my dad has kidney stones. I'm wondering if it's just always been kind of a weird kidney thing uh, that I've had. All the supplements that I took back in the day probably didn't help. I remember my uh, best friend uh, was also a lifting buddy. And for whatever reason, he used to <laughs> collect pee in a mason jar. <laughs> I don't know why he did this. That he would show me like half of it would be this white powder. <laughs> and I'm like, is that really the supplements we're taking? Like this can't be good for the kidney. So maybe I'm just an experiment of the supplement industry. Uh, and this is, this is what happens because like I said, when I worked at that shipping and that, or went through the shipping department and my weight could fluctuate by 20 to 25 pounds just in one day and nobody else, everybody else was consistently the same weight that they were right? Maybe like a half pound different. But me, I could fluctuate by the weight of like a small dog or more, you know, like a, you know, a medium sized dog in a day. So I don't know. I'm just documenting this. Rambled on probably long enough. But it's concerning. It really is concerning. And that is it. I don't have anything else to say. Maybe other people fluctuate like this. I, I, I don't, I've not come across too many people who do, but anything's possible. Anyway, that is the video. I think I've rambled long enough. A video with no resolution, just an observation. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a medical doctor. I have approached medical doctors about this. And a lot of the times you get called a liar. A lot of the times... They don't believe you or it's the complete opposite. They just want you to put, put you on with Govi. And I'm like, I already struggle to even get myself to eat because I see what it does to me. And even on days, like for, for a number of months, I was very consistent and my weight came down, but there's always this wall that I get to. And at that wall, is when I start retaining water again. Even if I'm eating the exact same thing every day that I was to lose the weight to get to that point, there's this wall that I hit. Maybe one day I'll figure it out, maybe one day I won't. But anyway, that's the video. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.